Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Pisces. So Pisces, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards you see are from this deck. So Pisces, your message today feels very mysterious, and to be honest, a little bit out of my own range of really understanding the message. So I'll do my best to translate it as I'm seeing it. It feels very encrypted, it feels very um, encoded, and it feels like there is like this depth of meaning that you are going to spot. It's like you're going to spot the true meaning that is embedded in the message because that is in fact the guidance here is for you to spot the thing that in time is going to make sense and grow within you, right? So, and you know, just thinking about like how Pisces is, you know, this very mysterious sign that uh, really access, you know, this huge library of knowledge, this subtle, powerful knowledge of the universe. So it makes sense that it would come for you, all of this encrypted um, meaning, right? So I do feel like it's a continuation actually from the Aquarius reading that I did yesterday, uh, talking about this great Purge, this great release that actually came through um, um, more intensely in the extended, this uh, purging, but it started already in the first part. So here it feels like it starts from where Aquarius left off, which is the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords for you, yes, talks about this immense release, this purge, but it talks about this sense of liberation that while you are at it or while you are releasing a lot there's something that is uh meant to be spotted it's meant to be seen it's meant to be um it has like this stamp that it's like it's a, a mark right with the will of fortune the will of fortune the the will of fortune is talking about a message within a message a message with within this uh release right the release it's also part of the message but it's almost like um it's almost like the river that brings the flow that will bring another message, which is the message within the message. If I hope that makes sense. Um, but you're supposed to spot it. It's like you're the one that it's almost like it's part of your destiny to unveil your own message within the message. I know that's a, it's a little bit confusing to me as well, Pisces. So I hope that makes sense for you. It's like, while you're releasing something that is meant uh, for you to release, it's like there's something there that is meant for you to, um, like just, uh, it's meant for you to spot, right? It's meant for you to pick up that message and do something with it, but sit with it first. It's like you're not meant to decode it until it's time, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune is talking about time also, but it's actually reinforced with the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is almost like after the release has happened or most of it, right? Or it's like the the big purge has happened. It's like you're left with this, um, almost like this empty vessel, but it's not exactly empty because you have, it's like you have picked something, right? It's like you have spotted something from this release that brings you something that in time, it's like you're going to digest this message, this encrypted message. It's like you... You just have to sit with it, right? It's like sit with the thing that right now feels a very mysterious thing to understand, right? So allow yourself time, give yourself some um, it's like space and time to just absorb this spotted message or this encrypted message within the message. Because I do feel like, and so maybe that's also a sense that I'm having from this opening card. It's almost like this is... Um, it's not that this is not significant, right? It's like, it's, but it's, um, it's almost like the superficial layer. It's like the release. It's, it's not exactly the cover up, but it would be something that, uh, it's almost like from the outside looking in, people would not pick up on the same thing that you're spotting. People would only see the massive purge, right? So, and that's good because it's almost like you, you're the only one, Pisces, that can really decode this. The emperor here, it's coming through as this blossoming of the spotted thing, the spotted trick, the spotted code, right? The thing that you're meant to uh, pick up from the immense release that you're doing. 
And in time, it's like it's grown, it's going to grow in you, right? This is what the emperor is talking about. It's the same symbol. It's just that here it's locked or it's um it's still um it's like it requires this uh time and space so that you can unlock this and then it can grow in you, right? And so it feels like something that is very personal, right? It's like only you in time will know that this is blooming, that this is, um, it's like, it's growing in you. I don't know how to express this. It's, um, it feels like a type of message or a type of understanding that it's part of your fate. It has to do with um, development, right? Or growth or some sort of expansion, however it plays out in your life, right? It, talking about the emperor as like, you know, a wealthy character, right? Or like this authority or um, this responsible leader, right? Um, it, it, however it plays out for you, Pisces, I do feel like in time, it will grow in you. It's like, what is your role? It's like what you're meant, it's like, what is your destiny, right? It's like, what? why are you here? What are you supposed to do here? It's like, in time, give yourself time because it's almost like part of this time required is also to, allow this uh release to happen and not leave any uh is it any what is the name it's like any symptoms or any um it's like to, to not backfire on you right so feel the release but know that there is this deeper layer of this encrypted message that is within it right it's all mixed inside this release so it's almost like going through like this flood of, you know, um, it's like just thought forms being released and just patterns and trauma and all of that. But within it, there is one thing that feels like in time it's going to grow in you how meant to be um, that was or how it's like significant it was for your own self growth, right? And so after that, it feels like it multiplies very quickly. This seven of cups is talking about this multiplication of the cells, but with love. So the way that it does is that it's almost like in time, it's almost like a plant growing, right? It's like it goes from this seedling to the sprout and then, you know, to a tree, let's say, right, in time. So, and it talks about time, right? So it's like in time, maybe with maturity, it's like you you're going to see how being the emperor or being this, um, it's like the embodiment of the message within the message, right? The mystery that is now being incorporated within you. It's like you're living the mystery in a sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Like you are, it's like your life is the um, decodification, right? It's like the, um, it's like how you're going to make sense of the message. It's like by living it, by incorporating it, by being the vessel for the message to uh, to be known, right? And to be multiplied because the Seven of Cups is talking about this multiplication of love. So it feels like, well, because maybe I didn't um, stress this enough, but uh, to me, the crown of the emperor talks about like this very organic growth. And it's something that is like, it has this... Um, uh, progression, this natural progression, right? It's like just the 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 seed that grows into this uh, beautiful tree. But in this case, it's not exactly a tree. It's almost like your crown, right? It's like the the it's almost like the growth of your own crown. Maybe we're talking about like uh, your true kingdom, your true uh, empire, right? It's like the empire of your own crown. You know, this is all symbolic, of course. Your message overall is very symbolic. So. It's like you will know how this fits for you, right? It's like you're going to spot the word that makes sense to you. It's like how am I, um, how I am describing this emperor? It's like, but you will know how this organic growth, it's going to just expand within you. And in a very natural way, in time, right? If you give yourself time, if you are patient enough, patient enough it's like you will feel the shift because it's like your cells are, going to reproduce based on love and not in fear especially because after this seven of cups we have the, the ten of cups but the interesting thing about the ten of cups is that actually it fell 
um, upside down, so uh, reversed, right beside the Ten of Swords. And so the interesting thing is that if this card is upside down, then both of these cards are pointing upwards. And so what this showed me, you know, again, the message within the message is that, yes, the Ten of Cups is meant to be upright, but in the release, it is also, it's like it's happening parallel, right? It's like the release of the fear is happening at the same time that, so that's the reason why maybe it requires love. Um, it's like it requires time to release also like the fear of love, right? Because it happens parallel, but it's like, the cells of the body, I know that this is very strange. The cells of the body are like, are going to resonate with this love frequency instead of the fear frequency. And so it needs to be, it's almost like it needs to happen parallel. That's the reason why maybe it's not going to occur, you know, uh, from one day to the next. It's actually something that requires, you know, the, it's like the turning of the wheel, right? The turning of the wheel is the opening up of this decoded message, right? Because the opening up, it's actually within you, right? It's like, so the message within the message is that actually the opening up of the code, it's you, it's like, it's you blossoming, right? It's like your crown opening up. And so, and, you know, placing you in a, it's almost like in a path that is no longer dominated or controlled by fear, right? Because that's being released. Instead, what is now going to rule, right? This empire with is love, right? The it's like the rule of the game is love. Is no longer fear. Does that make sense? So, what is coming next? Which is interesting because you know we're ending here with two cards instead of just one. You know, the two rows of threes. Uh, but today we have kind of like this pyramid shape, which is also fascinating because. Again, it's like this ascension, right? The 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 two cards pointing up, even though the Ten of Cups is still... It's like when I turned the Ten of Cups uh, upright, it wanted to stay that way. But I want to say that it turned upside down right beside the Ten of Swords just to emphasize that while the re release is happening, this other, you know, like the rising of love, right, is happening in parallel. It's not something that happens just after the release. It's something that is happening simultaneously, right? But it only becomes perceivable in time. And so because it's almost like your crown is going to be able to decode what now is encrypted, what now is mysterious. And so the more the cells multiply in love, the more love will be perceived by all right because it starts with you but it's supposed to be a collective thing right because it's the 10 but the nine of wands followed by the uh, the knight of swords is talking about this uh process of decoding the message and while you it's like you know if it was before right while you were dominated by fear or your mind was dominated by fear and i want to say not just you pisces right because being the tens it's a collective thing right it's like a, a, a collective um stream of thought right it's like the cells were uh ruled by fear were controlled by fear but because of this message within the message that is uh being incorporated and embodied by you in time fear becomes love. And so when it becomes love, you are able to see the beauty in a path that perhaps you would only see mud, right? So the nine of wands, it's being seen in a different way by the ones that go on that path, right? It's like individuals that choose to go on a path that could be challenging because it's almost like releasing all of this, it's not a simple thing, right? It requires a lot of strength, a lot of courage to release it all. But it, here, it's almost like you know that it's worth it because it's almost like you know that after this is complete, it's like there is going to be like this, uh, it's like this love frequency that is going to be in the collective. So you're the one I want to say, you know, maybe just, you know, uh, retrieving something that uh, a long time ago I saw with the nine of wands, but now there is the observer, right? There is the uh, interested person, right? Which I want to say is you. It's like the one that is seeing the path, which is this beautiful path, but you're seeing the beauty before it happens. You're seeing the opportunity. You're seeing how 
there is a field right that is you know right now being underused or uh may, maybe being misused right because they are parallel remember the ten of swords and the ten of cups are going side by side so it's almost like it's a matter of choosing how one sees the same path right and because this is being released and now this is um it's like it's it's taking the next level right so now it's now being perceived by the ones that have the eyes to see right and i know that this is um like this continuation from the aquarius reading right it's like you you have the eyes to see pisces the beauty in this path of flowers before even the flowers bloom because that you know that you are the blooming right you are the flower opening up the growth that happens within you is in fact it's like the evidence that this path was not just a muddy field it was indeed like this beautiful path of self-development right but it's almost like each individual has to go on this journey for themselves and you are interested in decoding the message in it's like going beneath the layer it's like seeing seeing the beauty despite it being there already but because you know the potential right you because you know the potential that lies within you and so lies within the path because you are the path if that makes sense i know it's it's a lot it's it's very um mysterious it feels like it's almost like the more you uh, turn toward it right because it feels a very intellectual type of um, um discovery game right it's like you it's like you have clues the more you enter them, the more you uh, just uh, come closer to them. It's like they they bring you another layer and another layer and another layer. So it's like this maybe never ending type of um, growth, right? It's like when you thought that you have unveiled the great mystery, it's like then you see that you can grow more and more and more, if that makes sense. So I know that this was a strange one, Pisces. I'm sorry if I wasn't uh, able to deliver it all. It's still hard to decipher from my perspective. So hopefully you are the one who can spot, you know, the, the pieces of this puzzle, you know, the message within the message here. So I am going to pull more cards for you to see where this wants to go. And also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me in the extended, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find a link down below. If not, see you next time. Bye.